she's kind of like fast, so it's hard to catch she's it on video. Blinded. What do you mean? No, no, something red on the floor. What do you mean? Are you bleeding? Some... Why would I be bleeding? Someone's bleeding. It's blood. Why do we have blood on the floor? I don't know. There's more. Okay, it's from one of the birds then. It's Leo. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies. My name is Marlene McCoyne. Welcome to my channel. This is Rocky. He is my Harlequin macaw. And he's doing whatever he wants, right? Which brings me to today's video. I just walked up the stairs and I sprained my ankle. I thought that I would spend an evening letting my birds do whatever they want, within reason. I mean, if one of them goes to chew up the couch, not gonna let them, but basically, I came upstairs and when I came out of my room, Rocky followed me. Because sometimes he follows me everywhere. Right, Rocky? Yes. Sometimes, when birds are doing whatever they want, they chew the wool. Right, Rocky? Did you do that? Yes? No, Rocky, that's naughty. So let's embark on an adventure of letting the birds do whatever they want this <laughs> evening. I didn't say screaming was a part of it. But hey, man, if that's what you want to do. Let's go inform George of this. Uh-oh. Vinny's doing whatever he wants, and now he's going to throw a tantrum. Vinny! Before you go out there. Yeah, two things. One, I told the birds they could do whatever they want. Why would you do that? Because it's it's the rules. Do whatever you hey, want. Hey, what's going on? What do you want me to do? This? <laughs> <laughs> you guys hungry? You want dinner? Rock, what are you doing over there? He followed me upstairs. He follow you, so I No, he followed me, saw me go up clearly, and he wanted me, he said. I'm like, okay, Vinny, let's go. He's like, okay, I'm coming. It's a madhouse in here. Actually, it's not, it's not that bad. Let's see who's doing whatever they want. Let's see what they're doing. Okay. He's eating his meal. What did you give him? Seven. Hopefully, Leo's going to give a speech soon. Oh, what you like? You're so tasty. What about you? Monty's mad. Mad Monty. They're all kind of in a food coma right now. Blue doesn't like the camera. She's getting better. Look at Cody's face. Man. Why are you guys being such good birds? I'm looking for entertainment here. Just chilling. I know. That's actually one of my theories, like, is why our birds are so, like, calm and quiet. They're, like, pretty much in a food coma. Why are you in a food coma? You should like it, you just, because if you never have to worry, you could just be a nice little baby. Merlin's like, you're weird. What'd you make? Soup. Wow, you're such a good cook, George. Look at little bit Brando right there. Hey, look what he's doing Where's in there. Brando? No. Brando's like in the little wedge over there looking for little tiny food. Brando! He's so cute! Step up. Do you know that every president has a Marilyn Monroe of sorts? There she is. Don't go near me. I'm very excited right now. Megan! Yeah, I want you to see what happened here. Look at my head. Oh, isn't this fantastic? That's it. I know what her job is. What? She's the hairstylist. Now, Cody was a hairstylist for a while. She's like my hair pick. <laughs> Darling, I wouldn't dream of showing up in anything less than this blue <laughs> teepee. <laughs> Darling. Wow, she came and she made it. So the blue is the fairy that follows the president because you know, she's kind of like a Marilyn Monroe of sorts. 
Which brings me, guys, to the process of blue. It has been slow, but developing. Part of that is due to the fact that I have a lot of birds, and another part of it is that she wasn't really tame before she got here. Another part is like, I swear, she was also borderline wild, but not really, like she just like sat in her tree. So like you guys know, for me, it's like engaged, not caged. Like I believe in like birds being out of the cages, even if, you know, they're not your best friend. And I knew this process would be kind of slow because ringnecks have like a major bluffing period. And also my plan was kind of to document that, but a lot has been going on. And Leo has just been helping the situation a lot because she's been kind of like following me all around. Obviously she's following Leo all around, but it's been amazing because- Not following you. <laughs> I know she's not following me, George, but it's a beautiful feeling to have a fairy. But aside from her stepping on me and all that kind of stuff, like besides for her love for Leo, her developments were getting there. Like she would take food from us. She would include herself with eating and such. It's hard to catch her cause like she's kind of like fast. So it's hard to catch it on video. What do you mean? I don't know something red on the floor. What do you mean? Are you bleeding? Why would I be bleeding? Someone's bleeding. Someone's bleed. Is Leo bleeding? Hold the camera a second. Do you have a blood feather? Is it water and it's just red? It's, no, it's blood. blood. It's blood. Why do we have blood on the floor? I don't know. There's That's... more. Okay, it's from one of the birds then. It's Leo. It's Leo. Is it? Yep. Where? From what? I don't know. Come here, Leo. Sit down. Let me look at you. Oh, right there. Where? Right here. Does he have a blood feather? Oh yep. God, he has a, get Rocky, Rocky's coming. Come here, buddy. Okay, we have to pull this out right away. Why do you have this, baby? George, will you bring like the, um, the powder? Let me see it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. And some napkins. Okay. How did you get that, Momo? Okay, so now we're gonna bring all the necessary ingredients. You're okay, you're okay, baby. It's okay, baby. You're okay. It's okay, otherwise you're gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. Which Look. one is it? It's this it's one right one. here. Yeah, and he broke it off himself incorrectly. Yep. Got it. You got it? Okay. Show the camera. Get the powder. Okay, I need the powder, George. The powder's right here, take this. Either. Hold on. Okay. It's okay, baby. Check other feathers. <laughs> you okay, buddy? You better? Jersey came to see what was going on. Meanwhile, look at Vinny. Blood's leaking, right? Mm -mm. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Jersey, what do you think? Think we're good? Everyone's concerned. So, I wanna make sure you're okay where I can see you. Yeah. You came to see if he's okay? You're such a sweet girl. What happened was he tried to pull out his own blood feather and it broke. So we didn't pull out like what you would recognize as a large blood feather. Here, it's right here. Look at this. If it doesn't come out from the root, this tip with the blood on it, you guys see? It's gonna keep on bleeding. If it keeps on bleeding, the bird could bleed himself to death. Especially if it doesn't clot. So I showed you guys this before. Also birds don't have that much blood, so how much blood do they have, baby? Like they have like a, a teeth. Well, every bird's different. Did you say a pint? I don't know how much is a pint. <laughs> That's like a milk carton. What's a pint? Think of a pint glass for beer. They have like a teaspoon. Like little birds have like a teaspoon of blood. Okay, so little how much birds. blood do you think? I don't know, but look what's going on over there. You like the box? Oh, he's mad at it for being in his hallway. He's just watching the videos. 
We can't be good Zeus coming. Is he coming for us? Yes. <laughs> you look scared. Come here, Vinny. What's going on? Are you coming to see mommy? Look how he has a gangsta lean. Do you want to go back and play with your boxes? Okay, crazy. I'm about to do a demo, okay? Can you sit here? Attached to the end of this is the rest of this, like a longer feather, correct? So let's pretend this finger is the long feather and this is where the blood should come out. The feather sits within like a shaft which circulates it. When it's bleeding, all the blood starts pouring out here, as you can see. You have to pull that out so that this can close. If you leave a piece in or break it right here, then this is still open for blood to pour out of the bird. That's why even if you're scared, it's more important to pull it out and let this close. And then you put like Good an word. agent on it to help it just seal. I look crazy. That's generally, right? So we weren't expecting this to happen today. That was kind of a messy demonstration. I Luca over there actually has some blood feathers sometimes. I was gonna do you like a real professional demonstration about <laughs> George finishing and something with <laughs> Alakazam. He's <laughs> like under pressure. <laughs> I just imagine a skit where he's like, no, he's a blood feather, and then he dumps like powder all over my <laughs> You should always remain calm. And then every 10 minutes you wanna check it and make sure. You tried to get that out yourself? So now we know though that he might try to do that in future. You know, I haven't ever seen him with a blood feather before. And did you guys hear that scream one time? I actually thought maybe I should clip his wings, you know? Because it was like after Picasso left and I didn't want to because my heart breaks. Like I hate having their wings clipped, especially since I can handle flight at birds. No matter what, we make it look like for entertainment purposes, AKA this guy. But he made that, once he saw the scissors, he made that shriek. And I was like, no, no way. He's a good bird. He feels better. Always feel your bird's feet too. Like if they're overheated, holding them and their foot is a good gauge of just knowing how stressed they are, how much pressure they put on their foot, how hot or cold their feet are. And then one thing you should always do is try to touch the area and see how they panic. If, if that hurts them, usually after you pull it, it won't hurt anymore. It's kind of like a splinter, imagine. You know, you know something is hurting, it's like jabbing. Once you pull it out, it's like relief. So that's a good sign of if you have the right thing and have everything. Sometimes you can find one blood feather and there'll be many more that you didn't notice. Like this was a small one right in there. So George noticed that. And you're a good bird. <laughs> what happened? You saw the powder and you were like, I wanna see what's doing over there. I'm gonna do a skit where one of the birds has an emergency and you literally get out like a bucket of powder and panic and dump it all over <laughs> And he's laughing. And then you have like a white bird coming out like, You know when he has a flower in the chef and like he comes out of the yeah. kitchen and he's got like, like That's you. Yeah, that was but that I listen. was like, I just see it here that I know you I didn't see okay. where it is. <laughs> it was in my hand and I went like this. <laughs> it worked. It's a certain age, and then like. What happened? Is Blue getting a black line? Why? She didn't have one. What does that mean? He's a boy. If if he gets a black line. I I don't understand. Black line means boy. Is that what that is? Yeah. So Blue, little boy Blue, could be this blue bird. No, bird. I'm just saying like it, she was a female, but like. I don't know it's a female. Yet. No, but she could have been younger than we thought, and then like she just got her black line. 
We so don't have enough. It could be that she's very young, which explains why she was so kind of like wild. I don't know. I've just been looking. And I'm like, is this line coming up thicker? Come here, Blue. Your boyfriend's ready. I wasn't prepared to make a, to make a video, and I put you have to paint my nails. All right, I'm feeling like a crazy bird lady right now. <laughs> now? I think that's enough drama for the day. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you so much. George has been slaving away on cooking. And he's got to paint my nails. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Patreon and Feathered Fun Box commercial. Enter here. Fade to black. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that. And guys, don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called Marlene Signature Blend, made with tops. The link is below.